Boom! What's good, my people? We are definitely back again for another one, and this year, the one and only Mr. Telex Vlogs. Mm -hmm. Welcome to a Mr. Telex Vlogs. <laughs> What's good my people? I know it's been a moment. Your boy is definitely back again. We are back for another vibrations here on the vlogs. Big up yourself one time guys and with that said, definitely subscribe and turn on the post notifications by clicking the bell so you can get all the videos as they tend to come from. I know a number of you guys have been saying you haven't been seeing the videos guys. Well, that is how you get to see the videos right there and then. With that said guys, definitely give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate that 150 billion percent right there. Now guys, before I get into the vibrations, I must make mention of this right there that you've seen right there guys. A number of persons have been complaining about this very thing. Is this real? Is this not real? Well, this one is actually real guys and the other one right there that you've seen is definitely not real so apparently there was a fake um case number going out there and a number of persons have been saying what on earth is going on we see 90 cases right there guys but it's actually fake if you look at the numbers right there you can actually see that the zero is a bit bigger than the other zero that you've seen at the bottom right there guys you can pretty much see it's very very clear to see so guys be mindful of that right there however i must make mention that it is no longer nine it's actually ten but it went up as a result of the whole testing that was being done yesterday guys and of course this is a picture of that right there were a number of persons as you can see there's a lot of vehicles as well uh, a number of persons went to get tested when they were told about the whole lot situation and of course you can see a number of vehicles were there as well as you can read on this thing current situation at the rona 19 center i cannot say the c word right there but the c19 i should say testing center in the botanical gardens region guys if you think you have been exposed to the rona at the lot area a lot of courses where the party was happening where a number of persons were having a lot of fun um you know and doing their thing as dominicans normally tend to do the ministry has asked for individuals to come and do testing i believe the testing is free so please go there and do your testing to see if you actually have it so you can then take the necessary steps forward. This is actually the party right there. A lot of things happening as a result of you trying to question what exactly actually happened. No, guys, keep me keep me in the loop right there. From my understanding of the whole thing right there, guys, it seems like this most likely stemmed from the top. Now, a number of persons have been saying that individuals came back though, and it's a possibility that yes, that could be the case. However, it most likely, and I'm just saying, I'm it's from my understanding, it most likely came from the top. We know that the government individuals tend to go to hotspot regions and of course come back. Now, if you know the basis before what actually happened back then, where the prime minister actually came in and we were told that he did not quarantine when there was a two-day quarantine for um, individuals who received the injection because he actually came in on Friday and we heard that he was at a funeral on Saturday so understanding what actually took place back then guys versus what is actually happening now we understand that two of the bodyguards actually have it the Prime Minister bodyguards actually have it and not only them though guys but we hear in that in that sect itself there's a number of individuals who actually have it even we are hearing that in the financial um, center has been sort of a red zone right now based on what I've, I've been hearing from a number of sources um, who have not known each other and they're saying that yes the financial center is a red zone area so if the financial center is a red zone area and these individuals who are the top mingle with the other Dominicans at the lot then it's possible that they are the ones who actually spread it in the lot so on the basis of this right there of understanding how things were happening back then with individuals in authority who seem to go to hotspot regions and then come back into Dominican and not necessarily following protocols I'm not saying that they don't based off previous understandings when they do come in you tend to wonder okay right now since there's less restrictions for injected individuals when they do come in do they then go through testing and this kind of things there because apparently these individuals in the top sect have it as well so where did it come from they go to hotspot regions come back to dominica they don't necessarily follow protocols and then they come and mingle with the people in society and with that said we also heard that they were at the lot as well so when it comes down to individual spreading stuff i mean i'm just saying <laughs> I might like to work like clockwork guys understand the possibilities and probabilities that could have happened as a result So all these things is just my mind thinking hey Maybe this thing actually came from the top and not from anybody from back door and this guys Or it could possibly come from individuals from back door. It is a possibility. It's a probability 
understanding how things work of individuals coming from hotspot regions. That is my whole take on this thing, guys. What do you think, guys? Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. Now, with that said, guys, there's actually some measures that have been taken as a result of the spread of the, the Rona across Dominica. There's actually a lockdown, but this is what you're seeing right there, guys. As you can see, guys, the following measures have been implemented to curb the spread of the Rona situation. Curfew from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. beginning today, August 3rd, 2021, for seven days in the first instant. Huh, it seems like there might be a second instant. We'll have to see how that goes, I guess, based off what has happened after the seven days. We can curfew, however, is at 5 p.m. Uh, Saturday, uh, to Monday 5 a.m. So it seems like it's the weekend is just off for Saturday. This is like a, a two-day thing. So from 5 p.m. curfew begins through Sunday and then it ends on Monday 5 a.m. Which pretty much means that there's no church for people to go to. I guess you'll have to have church in your house or people have to go on Zoom and what have you. Anyways, non-essential businesses will be closed. Banking by appointment only. So I guess you have to go back on WhatsApp. Well, I guess people are more banking so you bank there or you can make arrangements via your bank app or whatever you tend to use. Anyways, those businesses allowed to open will do so from 6 a.m to 4 p.m. and need to ensure physical distancing and of course limit number a limited number of customers inside at once bars and nightclubs will definitely be closed no dining in any restaurants take out only so you can only take out uh, meals no eating inside the restaurant anyways guys no alcoholic consumption in public i guess you can do it in private church is closed ha interesting another church closed right there weddings limited to five people why don't they limit the church to five people as well why are they closing the churches when they can limit the church they can have a few people and then have the church on zoom why are they allowing then five people at weddings and funerals and more than 10 people why don't they allow 10 people in the church i mean the church is a big building ain't it guys what are your thoughts on this man leave your thoughts in the comment box below no private parties sporting events social events meetings of clubs tours lord music no lord music Huh. Are we under a state of emergency though? Know? Uh, that, uh, that's a question I need to ask the lawyers right there. If we are under a state of emergency. Anyways, public transports will be limited to three persons per row. No visitation to hospital, prison, infirmary or quarantine. You can, no visitation at all apparently. Airports and seaports remain open. I guess they, because they have the um, restrictions there. Anyways, masks remain mandatory. And of course, I think there's a penalty associated with if you do not comply with any of this. A $5,000 penalty, which is interesting. Uh, but the question I must say, because they are closing businesses down, doesn't that mean the government has to step in to help these businesses out? Are we under a state of emergency? Therefore, the businesses or the government needs to then take precedence to help the businesses out that they have closed down as a result of this situation. It's not their fault, you know. It's you guys that are closing down the, the, the place. But I guess individuals can open up, um, but they say non-essential places will be closed. So I guess nail salons and these individuals, which means that the government needs to then step in to help these individuals. What are your thoughts on this, guys? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below. Anyways, guys, there's something I needed to share with you guys as well. Concerning this very situation that you've seen right there, guys, policemen went into parliament when uh, the whole situation broke out with Leonard Clinton them saying um, to the Speaker of the House that he needs to stop his dirty ways and start doing what he needs to be doing instead of fulfilling what one side is telling him to do. Policemen actually went into parliament that day with ammunition and threatened to hurt members of the opposition. Interesting. This is what Lennox had to say on the situation right there. On July 29, 2021, members of the opposition in the parliament of Dominica standing for the right to adequate time to debate the budget proposals for 2021-2022 were brutally forced out of Parliament by police officers acting on the instructions of the Speaker of the House and the Head of Government Business in the House. Honorable Danny Lugay, MP for the Rosa North constituency, and Honorable Hector John, MP for the Salisbury constituency, were manhandled and beaten by members of a police contingent that had commandeered the compound of Parliament to isolate the seven opposition members on the siege and have them evicted from the meeting. The protest was provoked by irrational, oppressive action against the minority to overturn a settled parliamentary practice of more than 40 years that allows the leader of the opposition equal time to respond to the finance minister's budget statement because the leader of the opposition was absent from the House during the 2021-2022 budget presentation. I am of the considered view and based on research that the leader of opposition would have forfeited that privilege if he is absent from the house and available at the appointed time to avail himself to that privilege. I've been in this parliament 20th of February 2015 
was the first sitting of parliament I attended. Every year for the budget debate, as leader of the opposition, I have been required to respond to the Prime Minister's budget statement. On every occasion, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, the House has adjourned after the Prime Minister's budget statement until the following day. Every time. Every time. 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, six. six years, six occasions. That decision by the majority, a majority provided with 22 and a half hours for the budget debate, reduced the time allotted to the minority from five and a half hours to three and a half hours. It was initiated and championed by the speaker the same speaker who has solemn parliamentary practice responsibility to ensure that the majority is not running over the rights and privileges of the minority in the course of performing parliamentary duties. The police contingent, headed by Chief of Police Lincoln Corbett, had no jurisdiction to be in the parliament where they carried weapons in a show of force that implicitly threatened to kill members of the opposition if they did not conform to the demands of the speaker and the head of government business to stop the protest action. We learn from the iconic publication Erskine May, commonly referred to as the Bible of Parliamentary Procedure, that parliamentary privilege is the sum of certain rights enjoyed by the House collectively and by members of the House individually, without which they could not discharge their functions. So parliamentary privilege, contrary to the impression conveyed by the Speaker of the House, by the head of government business in the House, and other members on the government side of the House, parliamentary privilege is not a favor dished out at the fancy and whim by the majority. So my question here, guys, guys, what are your thoughts about what you just heard a while ago? Based off, we actually saw the video. It's actually on the government, the Dominica government uh, YouTube channel. You can actually see that they actually cut off um, the part where things got escalated um, when the police came and started talking to Dan Danny Lugie, and you know it kind of escalated there. Um, and this is what they're talking about right there. So I guess based on what Lennox was saying, it kind of adds up to everything. But forthwith, with the understanding of parliamentary privilege, it is not something that is voted upon. It is something that is given to everybody in the house of parliamentary representatives for the people. That is a privilege given without vote, which means that you have to present. Instead, the Speaker of the House decided to prevent Lennox Linton from speaking. They voted on it, which is against the parliamentary rules. And of course, the majority of the House voted against Lennox Linton giving his views on the on the budget. I think he has about two hours to present um, and the others have 30 minutes to present um, based on the budget debate, um, debate. And they forced them out of the House because they were protesting against that very... Um, ruling right there because it's unparliamentary. I mean he just read what is in the parliamentary book the Bible of Parliament He just read that <laughs> But this is Dominica guys. This is Dominica. Of course, you know what the speaker is um, doing this for I mean, it's not any any secret right there But what are your thoughts man? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below. This is pretty much all you asked for this year vlog guys I really like to hear your thoughts man. Let me know your thoughts in pretty much all what I talk about here today And of course definitely guys definitely subscribe give this video a thumbs up man and subscribe and turn on our post notifications So you can get all the videos as they come. Bill! Tell you wicked at people them stop their dirty nasty ways man. Speak as some your smelling ways man. Be real guys. Ah, be positive. And with the most high step as always guys. Definitely sleep it up. Welcome to Mr. Lex Vlogs. One day I will blow. Life is a constant uphill battle, but it's also filled with some beautiful moments.